This is how to use a place value chart to solve a two digit plus a two digit addition equation. Some equations are gonna have regrouping and some will not have regrouping. So for a place value chart, you're gonna just draw a line straight down the middle of your paper. Um, one side is the T, one is the O, that stands for tens and ones. At the top, I always like to put my equation and we're gonna start with um, the equation 18 plus 24. Um, before we get started, when I'm thinking of a tens and ones chart, I have to know which is my tens place and which is my ones place. The number 18 has one in the tens place and eight in the ones place. The number 24 has two tens and four ones. So again, I'm just looking at these two numbers and I've got 18 and 24. When I'm doing a place value chart, I'm using place value chips. Sometimes people might use um, other things. I like to use circles, it just makes it a little bit easier. Um, I'm gonna put one in my ten, so I've got one circle. And then in my ones place, I'm gonna put eight place value chips. For the number 24, I'm gonna put two over here in my tens place and four over in my ones place. And so I don't usually draw a line across the middle, but I'm trying to separate each one um, with a little bit of space so that if I do wanna look back at my work, I can make sure that I, I marked it correctly on my place value chart and just double check myself. So I have 18 and 24 and I put them on my place value chart. The next thing I'm gonna do in my steps is I'm going to count how many ones that I have. So I know this is five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. The number 12 is more than the number 10. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a circle around 10 of those and I'm going to regroup them. I'm going to bundle them up and I'm going to trade them in for a 10. There's my arrow, there's my 10 that I just traded all of that in for. Um, if I look and I see what's left, I have two over here and then I've got one, two, three, four, four in my tens place. So the sum of 18 plus 24 is 42 using my place value chart. Again, whenever I'm doing this circle, I want to only draw the circle around 10 of them. If there weren't 10, I wouldn't draw the circle. This is when I'm regrouping, I am bundling them all up because if I just left it as um, the number 12, then the, I might have my answer as 312 instead of the true answer, which is 42. Let's look at another one. 47 plus 38. And again, I'm doing my T and my O that stands for tens and ones. When I look at 47, I notice that there's a four in my tens place and seven in my ones. The number 38 has three in the tens and eight in the ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. My next step is to count how many ones I have. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So remember if it's 10 or more, I'm gonna have to bundle it up. So again, whenever I am bundling these up, I'm drawing a circle around 10 of them. I know I counted 15, so I should have five outside of my circle. One, two, three, four, five. Whenever I bundle them up, I'm trading 10 ones in for a 10 chip. One, two, three, four, five. I have five left. And we've got four, five, six, seven, eight. So the sum, 47 plus 38 is 85. This is a regrouping problem. I regrouped those 10 ones, and that's how I got this other 10 over here. Twenty six plus forty seven. Here's my tens. Here's my ones. Twenty six has two tens and one, two, three, four, five, six in my ones. Forty seven has four in my tens place and seven in the ones place. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I'm going to count my ones. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen is more than ten, so I'm going to bundle around a group of 10, draw my arrow, and draw one more. I regrouped and I have enough to make another 10. There's three left over here, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven over here. I have seven in my tens and three in my ones. The number is 73 for the sum.